Hey guys, Brad Keys here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get lower input delay using Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Just go to Google or go into the link in the description of the video. It'll be the first link. Click on it. It goes to the same web page. I'm just going to copy and paste it in there. Scroll down. Click Download ISLC here. Once you do that, just go to your desktop. Create a folder. You can name it anything you want. Just bring in the folder and then extract it into the folder so just make sure it's on here once it's extracted open it up and run it I already have it open so I don't need to run it so I can delete the folder it's okay though once you open it up it'll open up like this the settings will be a little different it's gonna look <clears throat> something like this for you this is what it will look like for you unchecked and everything so it will just be sitting like this what you do is basically we'll start with the left side first it depends on your your RAM for the beginning so if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes I'm gonna give you the numbers here so you leave the top one as it is but the bottom one if I were to have 8 gigabytes of RAM you'd put this number to 4000 but if I had 16 gigabytes of RAM, I would change this to 8,000. And if I have 32 gigabytes like I do, I would change this number to 16,000. Okay? And then you click these so it starts it and it is monitoring in the background and it launches on the login. So when you log into your PC, it's going to be started up down here. So it's just running in the background, which is what you want. You're going to get a lot lower delay using this program. So next, we'll start with the timer resolution. This is exactly like the program timer resolution, but it's built into Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. So you don't need both programs open. You just need this one program. It has extra features, and it gives you lower delay on top of it. So to get the .5, you can just backspace twice and put .5 and enable it for Windows 10. Windows 11, you need to enable both, and then you need to system restart like this. So if I hit start it's gonna go to point five I personally I just use point one it does the exact same thing oh, I guess I don't need that either but it does not it does not need to be zero point zero one it just needs to be zero point five zero and you'll get the lower input delay the next thing you can do is change your intelligent standby list cleaner pulling rate and this is it refreshes in the background this number being how many milliseconds it takes to refresh the lower the number the least amount of input delay you'll get so if you have a bad PC you will get more input delay with this but the program is going to work better and you might get more FPS and just smoother gameplay you need to test out this I'm on an RTX 2070 Super and 250 MS gives me the least amount of delay and it doesn't make me lag that much there is a little bit of stuttering but I would assume if you're on like a 30 series or 40 series GPU you're going to get a lot better performance personally I like low input delay so I'm going to keep this at 250 milliseconds and then basically you would just hit start after you have all the settings and you're good to go now your your memory will build up and I do have another program I'll talk about um, which is memory duct I showed you guys how to use this this is also with memory but in the background if you just load this up in this middle number the standby list and system working set if this number gets to 8000 9000 your PC will start slowing down all you have to do is hit purge standby list and boom it'll say down here number of times it was cleared one and the standby list and working set is now at two megabytes so it just resets your memory and you'll have like five to ten seconds in game like slowing down for a second like um, almost like it looks like it's lagging and then it will come back to normal and be way faster than it was before. If you guys are interested in having your PC fully optimized, go into the link in the description to my Fiverr page where you guys can get a one-on-one -on -one session with me where I fully optimize your PC. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be getting back to you guys ASAP.